cylindrical grinder components. This is the left side view of the cylindrical grinder. This is the front view. And this is the right side view. Let's take a closer look at the components of a brown and sharp universal cylindrical grinder. Let's start with components on the left side. The grind cycle start lever controls automatic table travel as well as headstock rotation. To start the table, raise the lever. A plunger in the side of the lever can be used to limit the lever movement so that only the headstock is started and stopped. When the lever engages power movement of the table, the hand wheel is automatically disengaged. The plunger locking pin screw knob is used to shut off power to the headstock motor when it is desired to use power table traverse without headstock rotation. For example, when dressing the wheel. Fine cross feed knob. The cross feed worm dial is engaged using the fine cross feed engage knob. The cross feed worm dial allows the operator to make fine and feed movements of the grinding wheel. Table hand wheel bumping knob. This knob is moved to allow a certain amount of play between the rim of the hand wheel and the hub. The table hand wheel bumping knob is used when a small amount of table movement is desired. For example, when you are attempting to grind close to a shoulder. The hand feed selector lever allows you to control the rate of manual movement of the table using the table hand wheel. With the hand feed selector in the extreme forward position, the table will move approximately 6 1 quarter inches per revolution of the hand wheel. With the hand feed selector in the extreme back position, the table will move approximately 1 quarter inch per revolution of the hand wheel. Placing the lever pin in the middle position locks out hand feed. Let's move on to the front or center view. Table hand wheel. The longitudinal table feed hand wheel controls the reciprocating left or right travel of the table. The sliding table. The table rides on the saddle and is the component on which the upper table is mounted. Headstock spindle brake arm. Quick stoppage of the headstock spindle is obtained by using this lever. The headstock motor. The headstock motor drives the headstock spindle. Spindle motor. The spindle motor drives the spindle. The footstock is used to support the right end of the workpiece. The footstock can be moved longitudinally along the swivel table. The swivel table turns on a steel pivot, permitting angular settings in either direction. The swivel table is clamped to the sliding table by a clamp bracket and two bolts on each end and also by a clamp bolt near the pivot. A plate on the right-hand clamp bracket has a graduated scale for setting the table to an angle for grinding tapers. These start and stop push buttons control the motors for the wheel spindle, table and headstock drives. The cross-feed handwheel manually controls the spindle head in or out movement. Finally, we'll look at components on the right side. Swivel table lock pin knob. To swivel the table, the clamp brackets, which are held by two bolts on each end and also by a clamp bolt near the pivot, must be loosened. Then the swivel table lock pin knob, when pulled up, allows the table to be adjusted. Swivel table adjusting knob. With the swivel table lock pin knob down in position, fine adjustments to the table angle can be made using the swivel table adjusting knob. The feed change knob allows the operator to control the rate of the table feed. Before making a selection or change of power feed, make sure that the grind cycle start stop lever is disengaged. The cross feed worm dial allows the operator to make fine in feed movements of the grinding wheel. The cross feed worm dial is engaged using the fine cross feed engage knob. The longitudinal feed reversing lever changes the direction of the table feed at the end of the cut. The table dogs actuate the longitudinal feed reversing lever. Finally, the headstock rotates the workpiece. The headstock is an independent unit, adjustable along the table. The headstock can be swiveled for grinding short, steep, tapers. This completes the review of cylindrical grinder components.